How's it going guys? Dan back again from The Gamers Down Under. Welcome to our next episode of Fit for Packs. So sticking with the whole completely unscripted motif that we're going with for this series, I've literally just got in from work, sitting down, and straight away turned on the camera and I'm going to have a talk to you guys. The first thing I want to ask, if you're new to this series, um, please hit like on the video, please hit subscribe for me as well, you should see around here somewhere, we'll have like a, a circle thing with our channel icon that you guys can press, please definitely do subscribe, share this video as well, um, and if you do want as well, right here over my face, I'm going to have a link to the playlist for our prologue and our week one update. Uh, now that I've got all that crap out of the way, <laughs> we're going to jump straight into the week two update. Uh, now, someone in the comments mentioned last week that uh, this week would be a little bit harder. Um, and speaking to a couple of my friends, they've said the same thing. This week would be pretty hard. And I have to admit, this week has been a lot harder than I expected. Uh, not going to try and make excuses. Um, I just kind of let myself go a little bit. I haven't even sat down and weighed myself yet sat down while I stood up. Uh, I haven't weighed myself. Um, I was bad at logging what I ate, so I'll do my best to show you guys what I actually did eat that I tracked. Because this week was my birthday. Yay! <laughs> I'm 28 years old. Uh, as of, you know, three days ago, four days ago. I don't even know what day it is anymore. I work that much at the moment. But uh, everyone's idea for my birthday was to buy me food. <laughs> Chunk food. Take me out for food. Uh, homemade cooking. I'm not saying it was bad. I love food. But, um, God damn it, it was hard to stick to the plan this week, that's for sure. Um, so yeah, a lot of stumbles as far as not eating the healthiest food in the world. And, uh, kind of not tracking what I was eating because I was getting taken out or brought things and all that other good stuff. So, this week, food-wise, big downward slip there. Um... There are some positives though. I did stick to the exercise daily. Uh, I have kept soft drinks out of it. So even when people did take me out, uh, I would still have like a water instead of a gallon of soda um, or soft drink, whatever you guys want to call it. Uh, what else? Um, definitely cut down on the smoking, that's for sure. Uh, way, way down on the smoking. Um, and most days where I could control kind of what I was bring brought or what I was bringing to myself, I did try to eat as healthy as possible. So there are a few days there where I'm still sticking to the diet and I'm still trying to keep myself eating what's right for my body. Um, but the hard part is trying to kind of get other people to see uh, that enabling that isn't the best thing for me. Um, and it really, really doesn't help uh, the self-control. Uh, saying no to myself is easy. Um, very, very easy. I can say no to myself. I can deny myself pretty much anything, um, uh, which is what I've found so far. If I really don't need it, I can tell myself, no, I don't want it. Uh, but denying other people, <laughs> uh, that's the hard part, uh, especially when it's family and friends and, and people like that. Uh, so what I'm going to do, as soon as I jump off from uh, recording this intro section, is I'm going to go weigh myself. I didn't do it before the camera because, uh, you know what, I don't want to be depressed uh, on screen at least, because if I see a number that's way higher than what it was last week, that's just going to make me sad and I don't want to do that to you guys right now. Uh, so you guys will see that update pretty much at the same time I do and you'll, you'll see me reacting to it because I'm going to try and ignore it until I actually do a little bit of voiceover in a minute. Um, and yeah, we'll go through the exercise that I've done this week. We'll do a weight update. We're not going to do a body shot update. Again, we're two weeks in. I still look like a fat, gross person. So you're just going to see a picture of a slightly less fat, gross person. Really going to not see any difference there. Um, but yeah, that's it for the intro. That's it for me just going over my week roughly. Uh, as I said, cut out on the soft drinks still. You know, increased, or well, didn't increase, but kept going with the exercise, uh, the way it's going. Uh, increased the amount of times I walked the dog, only by a little bit, but I did it. Uh, but food-wise, I stumbled a lot. Um, so hopefully, next week will be better. Um, as I said again, guys, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Please share this video, and please like this video for me. As I said, 
you guys are what's keeping me going. Um, the likes that I'm seeing on my videos, the views I'm seeing on my videos, the comments that I'm seeing on my videos are a huge inspiration. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this update and I will see you guys in the update that we're about to do now. So thanks a lot guys. Okay guys, now before we jump in and have a look at the uh, the food update for the week, I do want to apologise in advance if you hear any uh, unexpected background noise. I've got some guests in the house tonight, but uh, obviously I don't want to delay this update for you guys, so we're going to go ahead and get this recorded for you anyway. Now, we're going to jump straight in and have a look at the food that we've done this week. Now, I mentioned before, this is probably the biggest stumbling block for me. Uh, this week was pretty bad. I mean... Uh, I did mess up a few times, but you guys will see what I mean in a second. So we'll jump straight in and we'll have a look at day one here. Now, in day one, uh, first thing I did wrong was I skipped breakfast. Uh, and this is a theme you're actually going to see throughout the whole week. I've been really, really bad with this. Uh, but moving on, we've got here for my morning snack. Obviously, you had a, uh, a muesli bar and an apple, um, and then for lunch, uh, I had basically half a tomato uh, on four things called cruskets. They're basically just large crackers, I guess, uh, and I coupled that with a, a tin of tuna, uh, about 100 grams, 95 grams to go with that. And then for dinner, then we had the uh, just two crumpets with some butter and Vegemite, which is an Australian delicacy. You guys definitely do need to check that out there. Now, day two, again, skipped breakfast, unfortunately. Uh, but for my morning snack, I had a muesli bar. And uh, for lunch, this is my first big slip of the week. I had uh, four quite large slices of Hawaiian pizza and coupled that with a half liter energy drink. And then again, really, really bad for dinner. Uh, we're looking at uh, a giant peanut butter and chocolate brownie and a giant peanut butter cup. So not my best showing so far. And if we jump into day three, again, skipped breakfast. Uh, and in the morning, I, I seem to do okay in the mornings. I had a muesli bar and an apple. Uh, but again, 500 ml energy drink, so a bit of a slip. Uh, and then for lunch, cruskets, tuna, a mandarin, and a 200 ml Coke. And then when I got home for dinner, um, there was again four crumpets that I had there. Day four, uh, again, skipped breakfast. Not a good showing for that one for me so far. Uh, and then again, morning snack, muesli bar, energy drink, uh, and another fruit bar. For lunch, I had, again, the four cruskets, tuna, and a 500ml energy drink. So I seem to be sticking to the, the same theme, doing okay for lunch. Uh, but dinner, this was uh, another a bit of a slip for me, because of uh, not exactly what I ate, but how much I ate. But uh, two fairly large uh, servings of spaghetti bolognese, so with meat and cheese and everything else. And then uh, two large slices of tiramisu cake, because this was my uh, family dinner that I had going on, uh, obviously for my birthday. Uh, and then day five and six, <laughs> really, really bad. I didn't even track what I had. I've completely forgotten exactly what I had, uh, but it was mostly snacks. So peanut butter brownies, uh, you know, peanut butter cups, chips, snacks. The only thing I remember tracking is what I had for dinner on day six, which was two sausage rolls and some oven baked chips. So not a great showing so far for that one. Uh, and day seven, obviously I tried to get back on the track here, a uh, muesli bar and a fruit bar for my snack, some cruskets, chin tuna um, and toast and cheese for dinner. Um, so I did try to get back on track there for dinner. So as I said before, guys, um, I kind of crapped out with the food this week, uh, so I'm not looking forward to the scale. Uh, I haven't seen it yet. I'm waiting until I bring it into this video to see what it actually looks like. Uh, but we'll jump in and we'll have a quick look at the fitness. Uh, pretty much exactly uh, what we did last week. So obviously we've got our five walks in the morning. Uh, so one each day on the way to work. Uh, and then obviously we've got our 10 walks uh, in the morning or and in the afternoon, uh, obviously to and from work to the train station. Uh, and then if we jump into the weekend, I did two dog walks around the park this week. So a little bit better showing as far as fitness goes this week. And oh, we've got to draw the curtain back. We've got to have a look at it. Let's have a look at the scale. Okay, so we are at 104.7. That is actually better than I was expecting. I was actually expecting to go up or stay stagnant for this week. So <laughs> I've actually quite happy with that to be honest 
Uh, so we're at 104.7 kilos. Uh, so it's down 3.6 from our starting weight uh, and down just under or just over, I should say, a kilo from our last week's weight. So not doing too bad there, guys. Uh, obviously, like I said, not going to do a body shot uh, if I'm only down three and a half kilos from my start weight. There's no point in that. So what I will do is wrap it up here. I've taken up enough of your time. So as always, thank you guys for watching the video. Uh, please, again, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. And I am begging you, begging you and pleading with you, please share that video, guys. Uh, get other people involved. I want to see some more comments. Uh, let me know if you guys have been doing the same thing down below. Uh, I'll definitely have a look throughout the week and reply to as many comments as I can. Otherwise, thanks guys. Dan from The Games Down Under, signing out.